Hey guys, uh, before we get started for today, I wanted to show you a couple things from yesterday. Got two motorcades, got uh, the new Olaf Scholz, the Prime Minister Chancellor of Germany, and the Vice President coming home last night. But uh, let's go do something more interesting than a bunch of cars today. Yeah. All right, it's time to go back to the lens rental store. We're gonna return that big lens that we had this week. Only rented it for one week. It was kind of fun, but too heavy. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, we're on our way downtown. We're gonna return the lens that we rented last week. Uh, it was a fun lens, it was a nice lens. It's a very expensive lens but it's just too heavy. So with Washington DC being a big news and media hub, there's actually quite a few lens rental companies in the district and it's pretty easy to get pretty much any camera lens you want uh, for a day or a couple days or for a week like I did with this one. Uh, this was really a try before buy experience and I decided not to buy it. I ended up buying a slightly smaller much a lighter weight and unfortunately more expensive lens which should be arriving tomorrow which is great because we got some helicopters coming on Thursday let's see how that works on Thursday so there's not a whole lot on the schedule today it's a pretty typical boring day uh, later this week Joe Biden is flying down to Culpeper Virginia and the vice president is going up to Newark so we might get some helicopter operations then I did manage to catch the vice president's motorcade last night coming back to her house. That was kind of cool, uh, though it was very wet and rainy. And then this guy tried to like basically enter the motorcade, which kind of messed up the photo, but eh, that's life. Anyway, let's go find something else to do after we return. Well, this the meter maids are back in action downtown. That's actually a change over the last few months. This is something I had to get used to in the United States. You see in Hong Kong, 
G is the first floor, and one is, well, two, and anyway, it's really confusing. This is a portable shredding truck. Drives up to law firms and government agencies and shreds everything while you wait. <laughs> Pretty blue sky here in Farragut Park. We're just a few blocks away from the White House. We'll swing by, see what's going on there, but that's not why we're out today. We're gonna to go do something more interesting today, I think. I do get a lot of questions from you guys about why there's no people on the street. And of course, well, there's some. I mean, I'm on the street, yeah, I count. But generally, you don't see scads and scores of people on the streets in Washington, D.C. It's because, uh, well, right now, Washington, D.C. and San Francisco, actually, are the two biggest work-from-home cities in the country. Something like 75% of the federal government is work-from-home and about 65% of the private sector. And that has a knock-on effect to small restaurants and shops, and it's pretty quiet. Not much going on. The vice president had a speech over in the EEOB, this building on my right, earlier today, but... Uh, I was sleeping at that time. It was like 8.30 this morning. I'm trying to encourage everyone to get their child care tax credits or something like that. They're making a big push for everybody to sign up for tax credits. Ooh, look at that. There's a big excavator down there. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I know you guys love diggers. Oh, someone's screaming over there. I don't know who that is. Uh, let's see if we can see the Marine. Yep, he's there. There's a Marine guarding the West Wing door. It means the uh, President is in the Oval Office. Door open, door closed. And the sentry returns to his post. There's a crazy woman over there screaming today, or crazy guy, I can't tell the difference. Dog fight. Ah. That's a crazy guy. I've confirmed it as a guy. Oh, interesting. They got this big metal plate. This is the metal plate they had on the uh, South Lawn on the Ellipse when they had the helicopter operations there to uh, support the uh, vehicles when the helicopter was coming in. There's a guy doing a survey. All right, doing my tourist support business. I can hear diggers inside. You hear the big backup noises from the machines and you can hear the tracks running. Oh, there we go. Hang on a second. Let me show you this, guys. Uh, where the, the spotters go uh, when it's cold. They have this little closet-like facility here. Oh, we got lots of construction down here. And it looks like the road is closed. I think this is fence related because the fence over there is still the eight foot fence instead of this big, what is this, 13, 14 foot fence. And they're replacing the eight foot fence. And they've got the crane out here. So that's what the back of the fence looks like, guys. It's plywood with two by fours on top of a Jersey barrier. So that's what the back of the fence looks like. And let me show you. I can hear him banging away on the fence over here. I hear the metal being banged. So that is uh, East Executive Avenue. It runs between the Treasury and the White House. And that is the last section of the old fence, the eight-foot fence that is being removed and replaced with this big 13-foot section. Oh, here's the other guy doing the surveying. He's down here measuring the distance one way to the other. So 
So here's your fence outside, and you can see, guys, Jersey barriers, K-rails, with the wood on top. That's all it is. And this is basically the temporary construction fence of choice here at the White House. We've seen it on the South Lawn, we saw it on the North Lawn by the Fountain, and now we're seeing it out here by the fence line. Contractors have run this wooden fence pretty much all the way down East Executive Avenue. Yeah, you can see it goes very, very far down there. So that fence goes all the way down East Executive, and there's landscaping trucks coming in. I guess they're going to the park. And it's out here. So it's not really a digger, it's actually the Jersey Barrier Mover. That's the thing they use to move the Jersey Barriers. See him actually putting it together over here. Time for some new grass, I guess. This part of Lafayette Park is being, what do you call this, desodded basically. They're digging up all the sod here, all the grass across the street from the White House. So I guess they're going to put down new sod soon. It's pretty so cool. guys, over here is the fountain and the fence that we've been looking at for the last two weeks. Over there is the new fence that just popped up today on East Executive Avenue. And right in front of you is Lafayette Park, which is now a giant pile of mud. Uh, all the paddle boats are quiet today. Seems no need to go out in the frigid cold by the Jefferson Memorial here at the Tidal Basin. I, on the other hand, am out here I just park my, I usually park my car here and well let's go over there there's a museum over there I wanted to show you and I haven't taken you to in quite some time and today I got a ticket we've got a helicopter coming which is pretty common for the tidal basin question is what type of helicopter could actually be the VH 92 oh it's of Osprey This was not the video I set out to make today. In fact, I went to a museum. I went to the Holocaust Museum. But to add that video on to the end of this video, just sort of tack it on, it just wouldn't do it justice. You see, the Holocaust Museum is a very important museum in Washington, D.C. It's one that you should check out. It's one that you should think about when you go there. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to edit up that video into a second video that will come out later tonight. I want to go ahead and release this one now so you guys can see what's going on at the White House. And you can see that really cool V-22 Osprey because, well, it's just awesome. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't. More video later tonight. And thanks for watching what's going on in Washington, D.C.